Hello, uh, this is Lin again. For this video, I'm going to help you to do install Moodle installation on my Linux CentOS 6, actually 6.7. But before you go this um, video, if you're not ready and do not know which version of your Linux or your Apache, uh, there is a video that I post, I done already a bit earlier that you have to ready on your environment and if you do not know which one you can do a search on my on google and search for that name and then you may end up into one other file that i just put it there just a few seconds ago for your installation and ready um, the environment how you install moodle drupal or joomla okay so you should go through them and ready the environment first before you have a massive uh, uh, troubleshooting Okay, so I assume you have went through the video, or you know what which version of your um, of your um, uh, web server, my SQL, and and there we go. So because that is my version, so I'm going to find out which model I'm going to which model I'm going to use uh, for my particular version. So my my SQL would be five point one. And my PSP would be 5.3. All right, so that I'm going to look for a suitable Moodle version. On the way, if you get Moodle 3, it may not work for that version. So now I'm going to get the Moodle version, Moodle.org, and then I'm find out a couple of version, but I'm sure it will give me some time headache later. Okay, then I'm going to download. And I need to look some model that I can run on my uh, SQL5 and PSP3. If you click over here, you just cannot go anywhere because they require a bigger version, uh, a later version of SQL. So I probably go down to my um, uh, latest release here, see what they have, it's any PSP. So example this model, example this model here, they require uh, Moodle 3, right? They require a PSP 5.4, but my one is 5.3 only, and SQL 5.5, I have only 5.1. So I'm going to look for a different version of my uh, Moodle, right? So I'm looking for the legacy one, the legacy release. I click on legacy release, and then have a look which Moodle is suitable for my SQL. All right, so uh, that's the old one no longer support but this is for example purposes only um, uh, that's good for my sql and that is good for my php okay so first i'm going to get this version down right so i got download the tar i'm not going for windows so i'm going for linux one so i get that version down download them so i don't believe i'm not going to download anything here so i copy the link copy the copy the link and I'm going to my Linux and then I take them in there from there okay this is my Linux so at the moment I'm staying in uh, I'm inside the web folder and inside the web folder here I have one single folder there only so I'm get the W get and then I paste the link in and then I take a couple of minutes to get my download version in Okay, after installation, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, um, I unzip them, right? So that model, I just done that version already. So I'll take them out of the way. So go into my uh, downloading. So I tie them. So that's my version 338 megabyte. Next one is tar uh, model that. So now I unzip them, I have a folder there, that's the folder, I run from there. Okay, so next step, I assume I closed that bit already. Next step I'm going to do is um, create the database for my Moodle. I assume I have no idea how to create a database. So I'm going to, uh, again, Moodle, and then go into documentation, then documentation there. And I'm looking for a very quick installation of 2.6 or 2.7 uh, admin installation. Uh, installation will be okay. 
version 3, uh, I'll get the latest one, right? At the 2.6 or 2.7, it is similar. Okay, installation. You can go detail what it is, but I do the quick one at the moment. So I click on a quick start there. So requirement, you need to look into the requirement all the way there, but create database. There we go. Create the database and then go into the uh, model. This, you follow this step by step. They tell you exactly what you need and how you got to go them through. There, there we go. There we go. So I'm here. So next one, I'm going to create a database. I copy exactly what it is for now, and then I make my life a little bit easy to start with. So my SQL, enter, I don't have password. So I select that, make Unicode there. Then I copy this link exactly, but I accept a change in the password later, right? And you need to know what is the, there we go. You need to have that database there, and remember the username. So I copy from here to here, I make the database. Then I make it change the password. So I put here pass for now and username. And make the username as a user. Make the user and the database. I'm happy with that database since I haven't got any database name as Moodle. Hit enter. So done, you can show your database there. So you have a Moodle database there. So I believe that I'm done with SQL, I'm get out of there. Okay, so what I just done that I have a Moodle, Moodle is database, user is user, pass is pass. Okay, next bit, then I have to run my web, okay? I have to run the run the browser. Go to the browser, one of your browser. And then run them. So my server is there, and then Moodle. I run the Moodle there. Now they start to do installation. So that's how your first screen going up. Of course, you do English if you wish to, or do your own language. And click next. And then follow on the part at the end there. They're telling you what to do. So now, example at this bit here, you click next. It won't let you go. Okay, say next. And then you select. SQL natively and then username Moodle database as user and pass and then click go ahead. I think I have a miss uh, I miss out one bit alright I miss out one bit. I go back again. Uh, I believe I miss out one part that's this part. Because this one I have done already in the database so I I'll, I'll go back there for you. I just done that folder. That folder is important here. Example, now I remove this folder, right? Remove this Moodle folder. Then I click next. There we go. That's the problem. So first you have to create that database, okay? And that's uh, directory data there. So, and then give them a permission as well. So here's that, what I'm going to do. Here, they tell you what to do here. This directory is both readable and write for web server. So in my case is uh, Apache. All right. So from here, I do. I'm making a directory. I'm making a directory there. So again, enter and have a look what the permission they have. I need that to be Apache. So see here's own Apache, and that at the moment read and write already. Read and write. There we go. Apache to where? Or uh, you can do recursive if you wish to, or if not, sorry, uh, recursive. Moodle data because you put in front of Apache. Okay, then done. That's the folder. There we go. That's all you need. Now go back here and click next. There we go. The left you go. Next one, server host I have there. Let me check if that right. Password, password there. All good. Then now this is a configuration. You have issue with that. They explain you what it is up there. So you have to make the config file, right? The config file right under your Moodle directory. So I'm going to copy this on my configuration here. And then I put down to my config file. So i am go back to my HTML and Moodle folder. Then I make a new file called config.psp. Then I paste that content in. Done. So I'm get out there. Control O and X there. 
so I have that file done I'm go back here again click next and they just very much let me go for unattended installation so you can see that they give you a couple of warning there so you can fix them later but it's not major it's not stop your installation okay so you go to the end and then click continue and then they run all the way finished for you there we go now it's connect in and then they go on the installation done for you in just a, a moment there we go it's run by itself they keep running connects on the database created by itself you don't need to do anything after this so next steps we're going to do create the default Moodle username and password for administrator and some welcome message so I put in here my own password okay username I'm happy with that now this is symbol only okay so that's my password I hope I just remember what it is okay I'm done update my profile I don't remember the past so now I'm logging uh, testing model I just done them test before so sorry testing and welcome to auto testing installation here yeah? so I'm done there finish okay now you in you can make any course there example you're going to size out you will sign yourself out then you log in again then you got to remember admin and password there we go so now you have Moodle and I hand over to the educator whoever want to create a course there make the new course as the new subjects then you start from there so that's a complete Moodle installation uh, good luck people and the most important if you got any issue that you need to ask you, you can go for Moodle and then go for documentation it's explained for you everything from there if you wish to and again this is a Moodle installation for uh, MySQL 5.1 and PHP 5.3 and on CentOS 5.6.7 uh, bye for now